so happy Father's Day weekend to all the fathers out there. Today's video might be slightly different because every Father's Day weekend I try to film something as long as the weather is good, but I never know how these things are going to turn out when I don't really have a plan or a set thing in mind as far as filming goes. So we're just going to ride with it uh, for this weekend. Maybe do something a little different than just talking about lawn stuff. We'll see how everything turns out. Today's a big day for me. I'm going to semi-retire this camera that I have been using for a long time now. Probably three years or so, probably like 300 videos have been filmed with this thing. And obviously I'm still keeping it and I still enjoy it, but I graduated to another Panasonic. I just can't get enough of the Panasonic cameras apparently. But they've just worked really well for me. I know the menu system. I know how to run them so quickly that I just decided to get a GH5. Now, knowing me, there's a possibility I could go back to this camera if I just am like, ah, I'm so comfortable with it. But I'm going to try to do my best here to switch to this thing because there's a lot of extra good features on there that I like. And this was just sort of a bare bones camera. So we were supposed to get a bunch of rain. And of course, that didn't happen. So now about five one hundredths which means nothing in the grand scheme of things look at this huge crack in the ground here I don't know how well you'll be able to see this but this area right in here must be probably where there's a lot of tree roots but I've watered the heck out of that thing and still see that it sort of looks like it's wanting to go dormant rest of everything is looking okay I mean it's starting to get that summer stress look to it no matter how much water I've put on it. I've got these little mushrooms that keep coming up in my backyard everywhere. It's got to be from that fertilizer that I used a little bit ago. Just some organic stuff in there that's causing these, but just keep mowing them off. Since it's dried out, I don't think they're going to last too long. So this year I've probably been struggling more than ever in terms of weeds in my yard. Mainly been dealing with clover, no matter if it's in this tall section back here, kind of the medium section up here, or up in my front yard too, just pretty much, no matter tall, short, medium, has not made a difference. Now summer's not really the absolute best time to be dealing with that, so I may try to go to some of this stuff here again soon and try that out on some of the clover here, mainly just probably in the front yard where it's really obvious where the spots are. Now actually finding a time when it's not windy to be able to spray is a whole nother story. As each year passes by more quickly than the last, I try to savor every season. In my mind, there's nothing quite like a cold drink on a hot summer day. Or spending time with our dogs, or a home-cooked meal. Lucky for me, my wife is an amazing cook or I'd have a very limited menu to choose from. But I truly enjoy grilling. The food just tastes like summer. I often need to be reminded to slow down. I work and work and work until I forget how to stop. But on a night like tonight, I'm reminded to just breathe. 
soak in the evening with some friends as the glow of fireflies and a bonfire surrounds us. As much as I'd love to say it's all fun and games around here, it's certainly not the case, and it is heating up quickly today. It is Father's Day today, and I need to get outside here and do some mowing and make things look really nice here because it needs a mow before crossing my fingers we are getting rain tonight. And if we don't, I'm going to be extremely upset. Not that I can do anything about it, but just telling you guys the facts here. So there we have it. I always like to look year to year and kind of see where I'm at. So looking at last year on Father's Day when I was mowing, I think everything was a little bit less stressed at that point. We had a lot more rain going on and a little less heat going on last year too. But for right now, I can definitely see this thing needs a drink even despite having irrigation on it. Even having irrigation, there are still spots here and there that just aren't quite perfect in terms of coverage. And you can definitely start to tell that once everything else gets really dry. There are, like I said, some weeds coming in here. I also did not put down any crabgrass pre-emergent on this because I wanted to show sort of what would happen. Right now, I've just been finding a few plants here or there, but I'm pretty easily pulling those out by hand. And that's usually what I have done in the last couple of years. I haven't applied any crabgrass pre-emergent to this in the past few years either. So it's looking like there's some clouds moving in. I think I should move to the backyard. I think it's time for the Time Master to go on the, to the backyard. It hasn't been on the main section for a little while. Seen some clouds moving in, so let's get that done. Got some more stuff on the grill today, doing some ribs, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You are a heartbeat dreamer. Never scared to chase the mystery. You are a Happy Father's Day. Thank you. How are you doing? You're my flashlight in the darkness, baby. You're my Hope you can take a few moments to enjoy the summer season. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. You're the one I always wanted. The only one I need.